This show contains scenes of violence, coarse language, and mature subject matter. Viewer discretion is advised. Thank you for everything you've done. You didn't deserve this, so... I'm sorry. Bye, my love. You want to say anything before I uh, get to my business? This isn't going to end how you think it will. <laughs> Motherfucker! I know exactly who the fuck this was! Get everyone! We are going to fucking end them! It was a new day. The day that everything changed. The boys decided to try and break me out, but for that, they needed to breach the horsemen's territory and head to the tucked away compound for prisoners like me. I'll keep overwatch, you guys go. Alright. Let's, uh, let's move up, guys. Is that the place? I think so. It's creepy. Jack did say there'd only be two guys around, so we should be okay. I think. Hopefully Jimmy's got a better angle than us. What do you think, Morgan? Nobody at the gate. So, last day, huh? Are you gonna miss me? I mean, we've been pretty much roommates for a week. That means something, huh? Some peace and quiet would be good for a change. I see how it is. Mm. Just wondering, if they don't have the info today, do you think it's over for us? No way out of this at all, even if we tried? No, that's kind of a dumb question, isn't it? You'll find out once he gets back. I know that. I'm asking what you think. Can we survive this? I frankly do not give a shit how the same miracles do happen. Perhaps you two have luck when it really, really matters, and you just think it's too late. It is all in the way on how you look on it. Luck is not something I seem to have much of. I'll be frank with you. No, if anything, I'd probably end up like a friend down in the toilet. Oh, let's hope this goes to plot. Nothing's for sure. Morgan went to the gate to distract the guard, while Rat made his way in from the other side. Whoa, 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 who the fuck are you? I'm just passing through. You're not fucking be here. No, 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 don't put your fucking hands up. Turn around and fucking go the other way. You fucking stupid, do you uh, hear me? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, over there, huh? Over what? What are you talking about? What the fuck was that? Looks like you got some visitors. That's none of your business. I think you're at the end of the highway. <sighs> Shit. Morgan, are we up? Ah, uh, help me find the key. Get in here. Holy fuck. Mor Morgan. Red. <laughs> I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. You boys would come through. Uh, the keys are in his left pocket. Hurry up. Good keys. I hey, get it right here. Come on. <clears throat> Come on, old man. Get off your hand. Yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming. Just gotta grab something. I got my fucking jacket back here. Let's get out over there. Yeah, let's go. Alright, let's go, let's go. Oh, God. oh buddy. <laughs> Let's go, we don't have no time. Oh my god. Yeah. Alright, good to see you. Good to see you too, kiddo. Which way? We're getting out of here.
Stop right there, motherfuckers, right now! Oh, Fuck go. Let's go! You gotta get up now. I can't walk. I'm not fucking leaving you behind. I'm not fucking leaving you. Get up. Get up here. You need to get the fuck out of here. We need to go home. Get out of here, old man. Fuck get out of here. Of fuck rip. Rip. Go. Go. Run, guys. Ugh, fuck. Fuck. Rip. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, you motherfucker! You son Run of a bitch! Now. Fucked up, man. You're fucked up. Shoot me! Come on! You wanted to shoot our fucking guy? Fuck! Do you know the fucking hell that you just brought upon your fucking friends and you? Do you even understand? I understand that you're not gonna find them, you fucking prick. Oh, we'll find them. We'll find every single last one of you. And we'll split all your fucking throats. What's your fucking name? Fuck you. He's not gonna talk, we're just wasting our time! Kill him and let's go! Execute this motherfucker! Where does your fucking friends go? Where are they running to? Fuck you, I ain't telling you shit! We're wasting oh, time, they're getting away! Something. Fuck you and your fucking leader! You're gonna fucking tell me something right now! You want me to tell you? You want me to tell you something? You're not gonna find him. Oh, we will, you'll fucking find him. And we'll make sure that their fucking deaths are very fucking slow. All because of you! Go to hell! Oh, I'll meet you there, motherfucker! Now find me the fucking rest! Now! Go! We will find him. I think we're getting far enough away. I'm tired of running. Let's, let's just sit down a little bit. Good job with that distraction, Morgan. Right here. This will be good. We need the rest. Everybody all right? Not everyone. God. Red. Fuck. That last shot. That was him, wasn't it? Did you see it? No. But I, I'm smart enough to know. Who are these two? I've never met them. It's okay, what? Sam. They're with us. So, uh, Genji and Jimmy. In a nutshell, they've got a similar cause to us. They've, they hate the horsemen. Uh, yeah. Really? Um, thank you both for doing this, for helping. Um, I don't have much to repay you. I'm a little short on cash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. We don't need anything. How did you guys know, buddy? How, what the? How did you know I was there? I got a tip from Jack. What? He's alive. He's he's okay. Where is he? He's well. He's well. I, I don't know where he is now, but he gave us a tip, and then he took off that night. Said he had some unfinished business to take care of, and I wasn't gonna question it. <sighs> all right. At least he's all right. I'll be right back. Thank you, Morgan. I appreciate your help. I told John to come find you. Yeah, he's your friend, right? Yeah, that's our guy, all right. That's Sam. He's not how I imagined him. That's okay. He's alive, and that's all I care I'm about. Yeah, I kind of picture him out of his life. He's gone. He's weak. Yeah. This guy seems like he's got a good head on his shoulder. I can't do it no more. Would you be fine with getting out of this country? He's told me about why I need to go now. I think that I followed through with my promise that he's shown me the way here this far. But I think until uh, I cross paths with you and uh, Buddy again, I need to go out and go my own way. You uh, risked your life for me. Yeah. You're just gonna go because he told you. What's got me this far, Sam? I can't just ignore it. I appreciate all your help, and I'm not one who's going to stop you. If you feel you gotta do this, I believe you. You know I do, right? I guess you've done what you gotta do when he told you. 
just, I want you to stay safe, Morgan. All right, believe it or not, we care about you. No, uh, you didn't leave me behind. After that woman and those people with her, with you, many things have happened since then, but I came back for you. That must mean something, right? It does. You want to go say bye to the boys? Goodbyes are never my strong suit. Fair enough, Morgan. Please, take care. And? Where, where, where is he going? It's okay, buddy. He's doing what he has to. Apparently, he's finished his mission. You know how he listens to him. His mission? No. Please, what? Buddy, buddy, come back. Buddy, over here. Morgan, wait. Why is he leaving us? Buddy. We all just got here. We just got... We just found you. I know, buddy. I don't understand. It's complicated. He's a different man, buddy. Not like us. I've always known it since the start. And like you said, if fate brings us together again, then so be it. We gotta let him go. There's no point in trying to tug him back. You know how he is. He's a stubborn son of a bitch. Yeah, I know. Come. Alright, I guess. So it's just us now. Listen, boys. I appreciate you boys' service. What you've done, risked your lives. Little old me. <laughs> uh, I'm a million times thankful. So... If Buddy and all them trusted you, then I'll do the same. Please don't make me regret it. You boys did a dandy fucking good job. But now, here's the real deal. There's only four of us left. If you boys knew how much they were, there's way too fucking many. They're gonna hunt us down, and they will kill us. I am not risking any more of our lives or time in this fucking country. So we're going to head out. And you boys are welcome to join. Look, I'm, I wanna get out of this place. Yes, fair enough. We're leaving the country, boys, and we start walking now. After a couple of hours of walking, we felt like a break was needed. The end of the day was approaching, and we needed walls for the night. This place looks good. What you think? It's got walls. Yeah. I'll like keep us safe for the night, I think. Let's just clear the place out. We gotta get rid of these things. Nice open field. You can see from up. That's the last of them. Yeah, I like this. We could stay here for the night before we get back on the road and get the fuck out of this country for good. I didn't see no people oh, around here. We're far enough away from those fucking scum-ass horsemen. It's pretty beat up, but there's four walls and a couple of rooftops. That's fine by me. Yeah. Right. I'm gonna try to get a vantage point from up there with my rifle. Well, let's set up for the night. I'm gonna get started on a fire. You boys, I don't know who you are, with all due respect. I wanna know more. I'll start with you, Jimmy, right? Yeah, what do you wanna know? Everything. I'm not fucking kidding you. I want to know the important details. Get straight to the point. Who you are, who you were, why you're here, and why the fuck you decide to help some poor people like us. I was here doing uh, news coverage. I'm actually a radio host. Well, I came to, it was like a world championship or something like that. I came here with my wife to cover the whole thing. And then the outbreak started. Been stuck here ever since. But back to what you were saying, why why we helped you or whatever. Uh, let's just say the horsemen, uh, they're not on my good list. And you, why is it Genji again? Yeah, nothing much about me. Typical you had, that was it really. Well, it looks like the people around here don't really like your kind. Shit, I'm here, I was here to help people, you know. It's just, get used to it, you know. At least I could have done was uh, come and help you, you know. What I did before. It's commendable. A good man, good heart. I myself, I'm not from around here. I came here looking for my brother. And, uh, well, he ain't alive, so came here for nothing. I tried. And, uh, now I'm stuck here. <laughs> uh, yeah. God. Yeah. I need to take a breather. I'm sorry. Alright, Sam? I'm fine. Okay. 
So what? Yeah, what's that? So I mentioned it's bloody. It looks right. Hmm. Yeah. It's um just really a good example of how small the world can be. I knew his brother long before I knew he even had a brother. His little brother is Quinn, a uh, country singer, soft-hearted, kind of like me. Really, really nice guy. And he and I were the greatest of friends for the longest time until, well, we found ourselves parted at some point. His months passed on and we couldn't find each other and all of a sudden I met someone that was an acquaintance of both of ours and they told me that he had turned. And then, some several months ago, he Sam just out of nowhere and we got to know each other and I didn't pick up on it until weeks or at least a month. It didn't click until he'd formally introduced himself to another person, his last name, and then that sort of just hit me like a freight train. And I just had so much guilt built up right there because I had known exactly why he was there and he had no idea I knew or that his brother at that moment was already gone. I did eventually confront him, of course, and it was terrifying, but it needed to happen. He deserved to know the truth. Yeah, I don't feel guilty about it. You know, if you want to uh, do something good in the world, as you are all doing now, who go and talk to? <laughs> the one single regret that I have is that I wasn't there with Quinn at the end, and that's why I can't forgive myself. Hmm. You holding up, old man? I see your red has rubbed off on you. <laughs> you. Just miss him is all. I think we're all gonna miss him. I'm fine. I just kind of triggered some old memories is all. Hey, um, when we couldn't find you, I really didn't know where else to go or where to turn to or who even to turn to. So I, uh, I, uh, I went to visit your brother. I knew that you didn't want to. Go and see the gravesite, and I understand. See, I'd left a few things, or things that belong to him, and I think if anyone, they should be given to you and um, left on some stone. I know it's not yours originally, but this was his hat. I just want you to have it. It still has our father's name in it. Oh, goddamn, buddy. I didn't know this was at his grave. Thank you. I guess I got a new hat. Oh, God, I miss my brother. There's, there's one more thing that I think you should have as well that you should hold on to. This was your niece's. Oh, God. Yeah, that was, that was Alexia's. I gave it to her on her birthday. And she said it was going to be her lucky teddy bear. And then one day she came to me and she asked. I said, okay, if I give it to daddy, he's going away for a long time. <laughs> sure, kiddo. I never told you how it happened, did I? I was with Quinn's wife and Alexia, his daughter. I mean, it took me forever to find them, but I found them, and they were okay for a while. <sighs> you know, the whole group thing I told you, and how it went real bad, and then at one point we got overrun, and it was just me and Alexia. That's it. And uh, I had to stay on there watching her, buddy. <sighs> There's nothing I could do. She was so young. She looked at me and she reached out, and I was too far. My brother did so much for me, buddy. So much, and I could never do anything right for him. That's why I'm here today. And I couldn't even keep her alive, but I couldn't no. even do that. I felt that everything, everybody around me, they died. They always died. That's why your brother became so amazing. You're his role model. You are every bit of him and just the other way around. And when I saw him, I can see exactly who you are. I would have been just as bad as all those people out there, buddy. I would have. If it wasn't for that little girl and my brother, I just wish I could have saved her. She didn't deserve that. Getting ripped apart by those things is just it's inhumane. And I just wish she could have had a full life. And it kills me every day. Just thinking about it. No matter what you say. I feel responsible. And that's what's keeping me on the good side. Because if I didn't feel responsible, buddy, I would have no feelings. That would mean that I'm just as bad as those out there. But instead, I think of her. 
Thank you, buddy. I really appreciate this. Glad to see Quinn held on to it till the end. That was the first time I broke down since it all happened. I felt lucky to have a friend like Buddy. How far do you think we got left before we get out of here? Well, if we uh, just keep headed north from here, then I'd say it's maybe two, three days at the most. Everyone spread out and surround the compound. Go. Oh, shit. I just want to get us out of here safe. We've lost enough. I'm done losing. I hear that. Sorry to interrupt your nice conversation, guys, but we got a big fucking problem. What's the matter? Those guys are here. The, the horsemen. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Oh shit, oh shit. What do we do? We can't leave. Uh, there's no way. I mean, it's fucking empty all over outside. They'll see us, we run. They'll snap us down. We're going to die if we run. Fuck! Uh, I don't know, I don't know. We need to do something. Can't get uh, down here. If we go down, we go down fucking fight. We gotta prep right now, we don't have time. They're right there. 